Welcome back to Free Space Blue here on Paladin Gaming. We are going into the 18th mission of the Blue Planet team's rebalancing and reimagining of the main Free Space 2 campaign. Why does the ancient portal lead us here? Have the Sheevans been waiting for us for thousands of years? This odyssey, this exodus. Do we journey toward the promised land? Or into the Valley of the Kings. Three decades ago, I envisioned a new future for our species. And now that we are on the brink of realizing my dream, I feel only solitude and regret. Has my entire life's work been a fool's crusade? Have I led my people into this desert only to die? My regime has caused nothing but savagery and suffering, but I cannot turn back now. I must find the destroyers that lurk behind this veil of clouds. Or I must wait for the destroyers to find me. The nebula is a remnant of a supernova thousands, if not billions of light years from Earth. And I wonder now if our ancestors witnessed the death of this star erupting over an Egyptian landscape, blazing with the brilliance of 400 million suns. Even in their divinity, no pharaoh could have imagined this. All right. Alpha One, you will pilot the new Star-class stealth fighter. Your mission is to scan the subsystems of the Savannah's juggernaut. Allied Intelligence has requested data regarding the navigation, weapons, sensors, and communication subsystems of the warship. To scan a subsystem, you must first select it with the subsystem targeting control. Then close to 150 meters to scan. The lead indicator must be in the center of your reticle. Maintain that position until the scan indicator has moved across your target view. Average scanning time is 5 seconds. The design of the stealth fighter will minimize your EM signature. Though we have not tested the stealth fighter against Sheevan targets, avoid flying into the line of sight of enemy fighters and keep moving as much as possible. The longer you stay in one position, the greater your risk of detection. Firing weapons will also reveal your position. To create a diversion, the GVCV Mahas will direct an assault toward the stern of the warship. This will draw enemy fire away from you and the systems you must target. The Sathanas has a smaller concentration of turrets in this quadrant, but you must complete your mission quickly. The Corvette will not last long against the Juggernaut. Well, I dare say not, especially when it turns on it. <coughs> Scan nav comms, weapons, and sensors. So, uh, Bosch there could have, uh... Yeah, Bosch knew that it led into a nebula, right? Like, he sent a ship in there. Surely to God, the Trinity reported back, right? Um, I'm packing an Akaton SDG. I had better not, uh, better not need to get into a dogfight. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna do that. All right, let's hit it. The Mahes has already engaged the Sathanas. You have to move quickly. The systems you need to scan are listed in the directives window. All shift two to target. Target the subsystem and close to within 150 meters. Well, that's handy. You must have a direct line of sight to the subsystem to scan it properly. If the subsystem is not in view, it will be marked with a diamond on your HUD. The subsystem's lead indicator must also be in your reticle. The average scanning time is five seconds. If the scan cycle is aborted, you will have to make another attempt. We need to hustle this up for the Mahes. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Communication scanned. One down and three to go. Oh, we 
Where's that nav subsystem? There it is. You have scanned the navigation subsystem. The comms already scanned. Tip Good work. This. You have completed 50% of your mission. The Mahes is getting wrecked. We need to hurry this up. This thing decides to launch, it launch bombers against it. It's done. So this thing's on the move. Uh, where's it heading? Is it going towards the node? Can we tell that command? The weapon subsystem has been scanned. Sensors. Excellent. One last subsystem to scan. You have acquired the sensor data. Mission accomplished, Alpha One. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I don't have a. Turn to base. You may return to base, or you may perform one more task. What is my one more task command? Destroy as many turrets as you can. Intelligence has requested data on the strength of the warship's armaments. That's why I had a guitar. We have sustained damage from the Juggernaut's cannon. We cannot distract the ship and force it down. However, be advised you may return to base at any time. Get yourself out of here. I'm jumping. I hope the bias is smart enough to get out of here. Oh, yeah, I was under fire. Very impressive, Terran. Though the Sudan Tactical Command had its doubts, our deployment of a TOC class stealth fighter was successful. Against difficult odds, you acquired subsystem scans of the Sheevan Juggernaut. GTVI analysts are now reviewing the data, searching for a weakness in the Juggernaut's defenses. Once intelligence completes its report, Allied Command will outline our strategy for neutralizing the Savannah's threat. Your attack against the turrets of the Sathanas has yielded important data regarding the relative strength of the Juggernaut's weapons. This information should prove useful. For conspicuous gallantry at the risk of your own life, you are hereby awarded the Medal of Valor. Alright. <coughs> so, 3 minutes and 42 seconds, 0 kills, which is to be expected. It was a, re it was a stealth recon. So, this was A Monster in the Mist, the 18th mission of Free Space Blue. The Blue Planet team's rebalancing and reimagining of the main Free Space 2 campaign here on Paladin Gaming. This is Paladin Gaming, signing off.